hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you've been doing well today we're going to be doing a haul so the sephora sale was last week i wanted to do a haul of everything that i got but i had to wait for things that i ordered online i have this big old bag full of stuff and a couple other things so if you guys are interested in seeing what i picked up during the sale then just go ahead and keep watching and make sure you are subscribed if you are new welcome i hope you guys are enjoying my channel and my videos and make sure you subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thanks again i always I love your support but i thought i'll just do a haul to show you guys what i picked up during the sale see if you guys are interested and just see if you guys got some of the same things as me so if you're interested in seeing what i purchased then just go ahead and keep watching okay i'm first going to start with these two candles that i got i tried out this brand veluspa they look like this. They're the super duper big 30 ounce candles. I picked up two scents. The one that I got is Baltic Amber and the Santal Vanille. I've never tried these candle brands out and I've heard a lot of good things about them and they're huge as far as the size goes. They're 30 bucks regularly, but I had 20% off. So I was like, this is the time to try them out and they smell really, really good. The Baltic Amber one, oh my gosh. It smells so so good. If you like those like woody, warm, amber, fall kind of scents, this is the one to try out. If you've never tried any candles from them, I really enjoy this one and I haven't even burned it yet. So I'm super excited to burn these and I know they're gonna last a long time because they are freaking huge. So yeah, and this Intel vanilla one, it smells like a like a spicy sweet latte. Well, not latte. I would say like it, it has vanilla in it, but it's not like a cakey sweet. It's more of like a gourmand kind of scent. So I really enjoyed these two, so I picked those up. Okay, so next we're going to jump into what's in the bag. I'll just, I'm not going to go in any specific order. I'm just going to grab and show. So I went ahead and got the, well, I didn't get it. William got it for me. I told him I wanted it, so he picked it up for me. This is the Pat McGrath holiday um, palette that she came out with this year you guys probably already know how this looks like let me show you I have the one from last year and I think these are great collector items if you love Pat McGrath shadows and you just don't want to spend the money is for the big ones this is a time to pick up the palettes it's when the ones that she comes out the ones that she comes out with during the holiday season they're more affordable and you get more shades so it's a great way to try out her brand but this is how the palette looks like it's super duper pretty i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it all over the internet so i wanted to get it and i have it so i'm excited to play with this especially this holiday um playing with more colors you guys know i told myself i'm going to be doing more eyeshadow looks because we're done with the basic neutrals i'm trying to challenge myself so i'm excited to play with that the next thing that i picked up is this perfume called santal vanille wow the fact that it's the same exact name as the candle. Um, I'm returning this. Why? Because I got a chance to smell it in store and I did not like it <laughs> at all. But that was already after I ordered it online, so that's that's my fault. But um, it's, it's, I mean, this scent smells okay. If you guys know Vanilla Woods by Seven Virtues, it's the same brand, but this is supposed to be more woody but when i smelled it in store it's like too earthy for me and when i say earthy it's just so green like i don't know how to describe it it's it's not woody to me it's more of like a it's not like smoky or gourmand it smells like the earth <laughs> the bottle is really pretty though you guys have seen this perfume it looks like this but i just i just don't think it's for me let me see yeah, no. Oh, no. Babe, you want to smell this? Okay, yeah, I just got two opinions from two men, and they're not a fan of it. So, I mean, if you if you have this and you like it, you know, that's you. You love it. As long as it works for you, that's all that matters. But, personally, for me, it's a no. So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and return that. Next thing I got was the... Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. This is, it's really bright because I have my light down here. I wanted to film downstairs by the Christmas tree, do something different. Let me show you guys this. You've probably seen it. 
it's a newer serum from Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe has a really, really good um, skincare products. I really enjoy their products. Um, this has great reviews. It has like fully five stars and there's at least like a couple hundred to a thousand reviews on, on um, Sephora and everyone loves it. So this is the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys could see it. But I picked that up because I finished my Desi serum and I was gonna restock, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try this out and see what the hype is about. So I got that. So I'll be letting you guys know how I'm enjoying it and if I feel like it is worth it. Okay, the next thing I got is this lip gloss set from Lancome. It comes in this backpack. It's extremely childish. I don't know why they package it like this, but it comes with three of their Lancome lip glosses. These are the juicy tubes. So it comes with these three glosses. I've been wanting to try these glosses out. I see Aaliyah use them all the time and a lot of people like them and I feel like this just takes me back to the day, like back in the day where we used to use lip glosses like this. Um, so I just thought I'll try this out. It comes with three of them. So I picked that up and then I got this, um, this is an African brand, which I was very interested in trying out. I didn't even know they had it until I was watching Mena on YouTube. But this is the brand called, what is it called? 54 Thrones. So they have these hand creams, hand and body creams. And this is supposed to be, uh, it's a body butter. It's basically like shea butter. So this one comes with the Kenyan hibiscus and Moroccan rose, Ugandan vanilla and Ethiopian honey, and... Egyptian lavender and Moroccan mint. So it's three different hand creams. They're about one ounce each. The full size, I think it's like 1.7. So normally one, I think is like 35 bucks, but this one is 29 and you get three of them. So I think that's a great deal and I wanted to try it out and just support an African brand. So I picked those up and it's winter time and no one's supposed to be crusty. So make sure you're not crusty. All right, the next thing that I picked up is the, I'm gonna do a, a full dedicated review on this palette. So comment down below and let me know if you guys would like to see it. I'm gonna film it anyways, regardless of what you think. But let me know if you guys would like to see this review. But this is the new Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. And the, this is the dark one, cause there's two of them. There's a light one and there's a dark one. So this one looks like this, like look at that packaging. Wow, let me show you guys. The light, the light is kind of washing it out, but it comes with, essentially, you get a blush, a highlighter, and you get eyeshadows in here. So you're supposed to basically do an entire full face using this palette. Like, this lighting is not doing it any justice. It's so pretty in person. So I'm gonna do a full video on this so you guys can see how it wears, how it applies on my skin tone and just in case if you've been wanting to purchase it so yeah next i'm not going to talk too long about this i picked up another laneige lip balm this is the ginger snack scent i didn't i've always wanted to try this one out especially when i saw that they came out with it so i picked it up for my office oh my gosh i picked it up for my office i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna pick that up um i already have a bunch of them all over the house but i just wanted one more so i picked that up and then i went ahead and snatched the Belief um, Hydration Set. This is the True Cream Aqua Balm. I've raved about this moisturizer so much. So this entire um, kit is the price of the moisturizer by itself. So I decided to pick this up since we have the sale going on and I just ran out of my um, previous cream that I had so I had to restock on it. So I picked this up. It comes with the True Cream that I talk about all the time. It also comes with their Hydrating Toner a makeup removing balm as well as the um, eye balm, the, the, what is it, the eye cream. So it's a great set, $38 and you get all of these products. So I think it's really worth it. And I love Belief, they are a great skincare brand. So I would definitely check that out if you've been wanting to get some new skincare. Um, and speaking of skincare, I also picked up the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Um, I talked about this, I wanna say in my last favorites in October or September, I think it was in October, but it was a little trial size that I tried and I fell in love with it, so I had to go back and get the full size. And you bet I waited for the sale because this stuff is expensive and I'm not paying full price for it. If you pay full price for anything, I'm judging you. Um, but anyways, so this looks like this. You guys have seen Tatcha products. They're super luxurious, really pretty. Packaging is always amazing, but the stuff in here, y'all, 
this stuff is heaven like i don't know what it is in this but i love it so much especially for winter time i think this is going to be like my new go-to um moisturizer i'm not going to use it every day because it's pricey but you know you know what i mean like it's my it's going to be a new go-to product in my routine so i picked that up and then i did also pick up a couple makeup items um, I picked up some stuff from the Sephora collection that I've never tried out. Um, the first thing is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. Literally everyone talks about this foundation. I don't know why it took me so long to try it out, but every recommendations video that I watched before the sale, everyone had this in it. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get it because Sephora collection was 30% off everything, so it's a steal. So I picked this up. So I'll let you guys know if I like it. I'm pretty sure I will because the people that I follow, they like similar things that I do, so I don't see why I wouldn't like it, but I picked that up. And then I also picked up the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. Andrea talks about this. Um, who else talks about this? A bunch of people that I follow talk about this powder and rave about it so much. I was going to pick up the Makeup Forever one, but the amount that you get in there is less than this, and it's like double the price. So I was like, it's not worth it. I don't necessarily need powder, so this was really more of like a want and a try. So I was like, there's no reason why I need to pick up two of them. So I just got this one because it was cheaper. So I'll keep you guys up to date on how I like those products. And then the other two things that I got from the Sephora collection was another micro smooth powder. I did get it in a shade lighter than the one that I have already. So this is in the shade 58 Almond. The one that I have is 60, but it's winter time and I'm not tan, so 60 is a bit more deep for me. So this is gonna be a shade I can use during the winter. So I picked that up and then I also got the Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade two. Um, I don't need any lip gloss. I'm just gonna be real honest with you. I do not need any lip gloss. But I did see a bunch of people talk about this and they said it was really good and that it compares to the Fenty um, Heat Gloss same kind of vibe so I was like you know what let me try it out so I picked up those two things so the last makeup item I have is another foundation this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation I got mine in the shade 13 and I'm gonna be real with you the shade range it's all right it's not my favorite it's a bit hard to find your shade um, I've had to go back and forth between two different ones but 13 and is what I decided to choose and it worked out well. I have tried this foundation once already. I did like it. I want to keep using it more and see how I feel about it, but I'll probably do a video with all the new products that I got so you can see my full thoughts on it. So if you guys are interested in me doing that, make sure you thumbs up this video and you leave a comment down below to let me know and I will film it for you guys. But I did pick up the um, Charlotte Tilbury foundation because a bunch of people talked about it and they recommended it. So I decided to try it out. And that was pretty much everything. I got, I kind of got a lot of stuff, but I also got a little bit of everything. So I'm happy with everything that I got. I will be returning one thing, which is the fragrance because it did not work out <laughs> for me. But that's pretty much everything that I got in the sale. So I just wanted to film this, show you guys what I picked up. Let me know if you guys have any of the stuff that I picked up or if you've already used it or if you want to see me using it. I will film a video doing um, a full face of makeup with everything that I purchased so we can try them out and see how everything works out. So look forward to that. Um, thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what else you guys would like to see from me and make sure you are subscribed and you tap that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.